All right, so I'm going to go through number one right now. Um, try to make it as simple as possible. And all of these problems here are going to be similar to the problems you'll see on the quiz uh, for module four, lessons 10 to 12. All right, so we have, it says here, Alex skateboards at a constant speed from his house to school 4.2 miles away. It takes him 21 minutes. So the first question, 1A, asks us what fraction represents his constant speed? So when we're looking at constant speed, the fraction you're looking at is C is equal to Y over X, right? And in this equation, okay, uh, C is equal to constant speed. Y is the distance traveled, the total distance traveled. And X is the given time interval. So for this problem, we're going to plug in the Y and the X to find the C, the constant, the constant speed. So in this case, the distance traveled is 4.2 miles. So we're going to put 4.2, that's the Y, so it's going to be on top. And the X is the time interval which in this case is 21 minutes. So that is the C, the constant speed for this one, right? But that is the piece you need, that's the piece, that's the Y, and that is the X. Okay, all right, for B, after school, Alex skateboards at the same constant speed to his friend's house. It takes him 12 minutes. So we're going to write the fraction that represents constant speed C if he travels a distance Y. Okay, well, same idea here. We're going to take that C constant speed equal to Y over X, and we're just going to plug in what we know. In this case, we don't know Y because it says, right, it's a distance of Y, but we have the X. It's, it's 12, right? That's, that's our X value. It's 12 minutes. So it's going to be C is equal to Y over 12. All right, so that is the second part. And 1C says to write the fractions from part A and part B as a proportion and solve to find out how many miles Alex's friend's house is from school. It says to round our answers to the nearest tenths place. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the two things we solved here. This C equals 4.2 over 21 and the C equals Y over 12, and we're going to set them equal to each other. All right, so we're going to put here 4.2 over 21 is equal to y over 12. Because in this case, it, they're both c, right? Because they're both c, we can set them equal to each other. From here, to solve a proportion, we're going to use the butterfly method by multiplying this together and this together, right? So in this case, we will get 21 times y is 21y is equal to 4.2 times 12. If you were to pull out a calculator and do that, it's going to equal 50.4. Right, and then we have to isolate the y. So we'll divide by 21 on both sides. We get y is equal to, if you do that in the calculator and you round it to the nearest tenths place, it gives us 2.4. And we were finding, right, how many miles, right, the distance, right, the y value. So it's y equals 2.4 miles. So we know that, um, right, if he goes, um, it's going to take him, what is it, 12 minutes to go 2.4 miles, right? And that is the answer. All right, that's number one.